You want me to go through one of your medieval rituals as what? Well, as an example to my daughter on how to solve family problems. How do you think you're going, eh? Father, how do you know my leprosy was cured by God? Saint Bartholomew. Your authority to perform exorcisms is revoked. I command you to obey me to the letter. Fimmel, your future does not lie with the priesthood. <laughs> It's over. so tight if I get me right kicking we've only got your word for what happened what do you think happened why did you ask to meet her in a park in the middle of the night what I remember is you yelling prayers at me telling me I'm possessed over and over the other reason I flipped out if it's just suggestion mm. get some rest Father, can you help me? I've done something terrible. Do you want to confess? I want to go to prison. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I've, I've tried to stop him. You want me to take you to the police? He won't let me. What have you done? I woke up, I was covered in it. <laughs> Will you say a prayer with me? And he's back. He knows you. <laughs> he was a friend of yours. <laughs> was taken. <laughs> Do you need a minute? Do you want to say some prayers? No. We haven't been able to get anywhere with his friends or relatives. He was living on the streets of Calcutta until the church took him in. Did you know he was gay? Yes. Is that allowed now? He was told to leave. By you? Cardinal Bukovac is the one you want to speak to. 
Don't suppose you make many enemies in your line of work? Only Satan. If you think of anyone closer to home, you call me. I'll take that moment now, if you don't mind. I lost everyone. How do you come to terms with that? You don't. Tell the police! If we involve the police, I shall have to tell them why I was exercising your husband in the first place, in case you've forgotten. He made sexual threats against your daughter. You know Liam's innocent. So is the killer. And if the police find him, then they'll put him in prison, and the one who really murdered Vimal will be free to come and go at will. And I won't allow that. Is that what this is? God and Satan in some kind of pissing contest with us in the middle. The police cannot protect you. Wherever you go, Satan will find you. There is only one place demons cannot enter. You should get some sleep. Right. I mean it. You don't need to involve yourself in this. Neither do you. You did what you could. There are people trained for this. Not really. Not anymore. Our best weapon, people like you and me, is prayer. That's all exorcism is. Tell it to Vimo. How is this safer than going to the police? When you were possessed, you were desperate to get to Donna, but you couldn't enter. They only attacked Vimmel when he left. Doesn't that prove to you that you're safer here? I'll tell you, it would be even safer. The police out there looking for him. And what if I'd called them when you were possessed? Hey, I didn't murder anyone. You threatened to rape your daughter. He said that again, and I'll kill you. The words came out of your mouth. Now, if you didn't say them, it must have been somebody else. So you should be helping me. Oh, God, I'm looking for this psycho. I can't do it alone. Rest assured, you have our full cooperation. I will not leave for Rome until I'm satisfied this is resolved. Father Jacob bears a heavy responsibility for this tragedy. I thought Vimmel went to the sauna after you expelled him. Are you suggesting I drove him to a place of homosexual debauchery? Or did I correctly recognize that such an individual has no place in our clergy? The very last thing he needed was an exorcism. Excuse me? But there seems to be no theological argument I can bring to bear that will persuade Father Jacob. We'll be pursuing matters further. Sorry, back up. Exorcism. Didn't he tell you? Has Father Jacob performed any exorcisms recently? Two that I know of. I witnessed one of them myself the morning of the murder. This poor soul, Vimmel. Father Jacob tried to exorcise his homosexuality. I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks the killer is possessed. How many more of these? If he's homeless, he could be anywhere. This condition rules out most religious charities. His choice of refuge is very limited. A 
sorry, we're strictly secular in here. We don't allow any kind of religious symbols. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. But there are people here who get really upset at the sight of a dog collar. It's exactly who I'm looking for. I'm not talking about a rational distaste for religion. I'm talking extreme phobia. A nutcase. We get people with mental illness. That's how a lot of people end up on the streets. And do you know him? I'm sorry, I have to ask you to leave. And if you want my advice, I wouldn't go looking for him. He doesn't want your kind of charity. Do you know who I'm talking about? Is he a friend of yours? I don't know him. Do you? The priest. What priest? A few weeks ago, a priest came in. This guy went mental, bit the guy's tongue out. Was he arrested? I've seen him around. Where? What did you guys do to him? Nothing. Nothing I'm aware of. I hope you find him. I hope he finds you, you Bible-bashing scum. <laughs> yes. You won't find it so easy to evict me. I'm a thousand times more powerful than your last victim. Well, then you shouldn't be afraid to meet me. Before we meet, you need to understand my mission. Your mission is to cause suffering. I understand that perfectly. I came into this world to teach you, Jacob. By murdering my friends. As you murder mine, we escape from the fire and you throw us back in. You chose hell. No one forced you. You don't understand the fire. Why didn't you attack me? Why don't you just kill me? I'm sending a gift for the child. Something to replace her book. Read it wisely and you will begin to understand my teaching. Are you telling me you came all the way from Rome to pray? I'm here to help in any way I can. You came here to recruit him. You're loving every minute of this. People often prefer the disease to the cure. Some even become angry at the cure when it forces them to reassess their faith. Anything ever force you to reassess your faith, Monsignor? Or is it just everyone else in the church who's got it wrong? Touch it, that's evidence. It's the New Testament. No. Can't be Vimor. It takes days to prepare leather. A miracle. A satanic miracle. Because it's not physical. I recognize this stench. St. Peter's, 1958. I attended the funeral of Pope Pius. His body lay in state, but the embalming process failed. The Pope's body began to disintegrate before the eyes of the faithful. The smell of decay filled St. Peter's. I will never forget it. Why here? You are familiar with the odor of sanctity. This is the opposite. The stench of corruption. From a pope? If he could come in here and do this, and know we're safe, I'm getting my thumb out of here. And that's exactly what he wants. If he's so powerful, why doesn't he come here and face us? 
Don't run, fight! Donna. Donna, we need to talk. They're all lying to you, Donna. Do you want to know the truth about Vimmel? You should not read this. If you listen to their arguments, you are lost. We could be anywhere. This is our only lead. You should burn it. Even if it leads me straight to him. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've seen much worse. People you loved. Do you blame yourself? If you read it, your faith will be weakened. So what's the message? Synagogue of Satan. Blasphemy of the Jews. Those of the circumcision. You are of your father, the devil. I didn't realize the Bible was so anti-Jewish. The New Testament is written by Jews. This is an internal argument. He's marked. All the passages used by anti-Semites throughout the ages. What's this got to do with Pope Pius stinking out the chapel? He was Pope during World War II. He was vilified for supposedly ignoring the Holocaust. Some even called him anti-Semitic. Was he? No. Pius saved thousands of Jews. You're going to make him a saint? God willing. Where's Vimal? So remember what we talked about, babe? Yeah, I know there's nothing to do here, but you, you've got to go and stay in your room with Mum, OK? Did they take his skin back? Who told you that, Donna? Well, I thought he was in the next room. But when I went there, it was empty. Hey, come on. Let's find your mum. Can he move around here at will? What have we got? St. Bartholomew, India. The Jews. A friend was skinned alive like Saint Bartholomew. Any idea why anyone would want to reenact that saint in particular? Saint Bartholomew was the first missionary to India. It's said he cast out a demon that cured lepers. Fennel had leprosy. And the exorcism you carried out on him because gay people are possessed by definition? Fennel was under attack. Those were prayers of protection. It wasn't a full exorcism. Are there more pictures of them? You said the skin was taken. All of it? Go on. Did he leave the foreskin? Why would he leave that? Circumcision is a sign of the Jewish covenant with God. Removing everything except the foreskin is a sign of a covenant with Satan. And why the Jewish angle? No idea. No, no, I mean you. Where's that come from? Have you been communicating with the killer? Take another look. He did this to a friend of yours. And you want to exercise him and let him go? Are you sure there is nothing else you want to tell me about the person who did this? It's not a person. If I find out you're protecting this killer, I will not only arrest you, I will make sure that every newspaper knows that there is a priest who thinks that psychopaths should be exercised instead of locked up. It's not a psychopath.
Don't look at me. We're going to pray. I've tried. If you open that, he'll come. Didn't the chief torturer teach you anything? You're supposed to restrain the victim before you throw acid in his face. Oh. You still think your faith will protect you? If you saw how Vimal begged. No matter what you do, you will never destroy my faith. I haven't come to destroy your faith, Father. I could do that in a second. I came to give you new faith. New wine in old skin. Like Teresa and Bartholomew, I am here to convert you. You must know that will never happen. Like Pharaoh, your heart is hardened. And like your god, I will visit plagues upon you until you agree. To join you? Or I'll let him finish what he started. We know where suicides go. Don't do that. You will condemn him to hell instead of me. I will enter someone else. If you make me do that, I will kill hundreds. Everyone in your name. Stop! Agree to my condition. Name it. You allow me to exercise you. I pray for your soul. You pray for mine. And then we'll see who's evicted. Your God or mine. If I refuse? You will. You must. Your pride is the most magnificent thing about you. You will defend your false god to the last breath of everyone you care about. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been six hours since my last confession. My heart is full of hatred. Against Satan. That is not a sin. Are you considering his demands? If I refuse, he'll murder others. If you converse with a demon, you may lose your faith. Their arguments are superb. Satan caused the fall of man through words. I need to understand what I'm fighting. Every word is designed to trap you. We know what the book's about. About conversion. To me, they want... There's one extract that doesn't talk about the Jews. It's the only one. Matthew 5, 15. No one lights a lamp and hides it in a jar or puts it under a bed. Instead, he puts it on a stand so that those who come in can see the light. Mother Teresa, stay with me and then I shall begin to shine as you shine. So, so to shine is to be a light to others. Nazis did this. Human beings into lampshades. Books. They're trying to suggest that the suffering of the damned is somehow equivalent to the suffering of the Jews. That exercising demons is somehow comparable to putting them in a concentration camp. Are you ready to listen? I'm not equipped to debate with Satan. 
I can't make you see the light, then. Not by playing sick games with the Holocaust, you can. Then I'll stop the games. I'm going to make the Holocaust very real for you, Jacob. When you see your friends being tortured as mine are tortured, maybe then you'll listen. Said Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. If your God One loves prayer. you, why won't he give you the strength oh, to Prince. stop me? think they're safe in there. We'll show you how much your God cares. I need you to leave now. Good. People around me are being targeted. Do you have to do this? It's not my choice. But I would feel happier with you gone. I'm going to finish this. The best thing you can do now is stay close to your husband and love him. You keep calling him that. doesn't make it true. You do still love him. You really do stick your nose into everything, don't you? I thought you were asleep. She didn't believe in God. Who didn't believe in God? Mother Teresa. Someone been playing tricks on you again? He said that she lost her faith before she died. That's not true. She said God abandoned her. She wrote it in her diaries. Yes, she did. We all have bad days. He said that she was like this for years. That they destroyed her faith. Can they do that? No, they can't. Why did you separate? She had an affair. Well, you don't believe in forgiveness? Not your business. She still loves you. This is the best time for marriage counselling? Yes. Can you still try and find this guy? When I do, I'm going to need help. End of the road for me, I'm afraid. I'll call you. I'm changing my number. Jacob. Just a couple of prayers, that's all. We don't answer to Satan, we reject him unconditionally. Why doesn't God answer your prayers? Didn't you beg him to help him or? We don't question God, we embrace him unconditionally. Who else do you care about, Jacob? Who else has to die before you agree to be exorcised? Your chapel may be clean. What about your conscience?
Are you ready to cooperate now? You won't find him. You certainly have made it difficult by withholding evidence. Why is he targeting you? They want to prevent me from becoming chief exorcist. Then why don't they kill you? Because they want to convert me. By giving you Holocaust lessons? They're trying to describe hell. And what's your game plan? You think this particular demon's gonna sit down and listen while you exorcise him? If I listen to him first. So why haven't you agreed to his demands? <sighs> it's forbidden for exorcists to negotiate with demons. Why? We negotiate with terrorists. And would you negotiate with a terrorist who could read your mind? If you help me, I promise you, I can put this man behind bars. Bars can't hold demons. He will just enter somebody else and kill again. But he is killing already. What is the difference? You can't escape your responsibility for what he's doing right now. I have to meet him. He's going to kill everyone I care about. I can't lose you. Do not bargain with Satan for my life. Am I supposed to watch you die, too? If God asks. The police tell me you've spoken to this psychopath. Are you bound by the seal of the confessional? No. Is there nothing I can say that can persuade you? After two deaths? Persuade me of what? Monsignor Vincenzo attracts this. He thrives on it. His path is not your path. You're not a soldier. Come back to Rome. Leave this to the police. No, I can't do that. There's no one you'll listen to. I'll listen to anyone. Except Satan. If you'd listen to Sister Anne, she'd still be alive. Instead, you listen to a man who, even now, chooses to go to another church to pray in the middle of the night. Where's he gone? He's asking to be attacked. Where? Father, forgive me, Monsignor. fight. I need to know. This is a relic of the bunch of cross. It will protect you. Keep it sealed. Keep it pure. Please. He said your soul is already there. What's in the syringe? Phenol. Carbolic acid. It was a method of execution they used in Auschwitz. You need protection. Uh. You want to be a martyr. If you find him first, will you let me exorcise him? You know I can't.
Who's going to help you now? God. Why did you let him kill your friends? I don't know. He told me where he lives. What did he say? He said I should tell you. He said, when you're ready to listen to their pain. You're braver than any man of the cloth I've ever met. You treat me with the same respect you preach to the rest of God's creatures. You're not one of God's creatures. Your only wish is to cause suffering. I can only shelter from the fires of hell by clothing myself in human flesh. I have no choice. This is why we fight God. You had a choice. You chose to reject God. You worship a God who tortures his subjects. You worship a god who presides over the Holocaust. You thank him for it. It was your kind who inspired those atrocities. At each atrocity, your god was a silent spectator, a willing accomplice. God allows evil. He doesn't perpetrate it. Our acts of violence are cries of desperation from the pit of despair. The suffering of our victims is nothing compared to the pain God inflicts on us. What you did to Vimmel was nothing. He's right, Father. I would rather tear off my own skin than spend one more moment in this terrible place. Only by suffering a fraction of their pain can we begin to understand the injustice. God is a tyrant worse than Hitler. Hell is worse than a million holocausts. I don't believe Vimmel is in hell. And drop the impersonation. No, Jacob, it's hell you don't believe in. That's why you resist being an exorcist. We force you to examine your conscience and look your God in the eye. If I showed you all the torments of the dead, all your loved ones in agony, your heart would break. We gave one of your popes a vision of hell and it nearly killed him. I don't want to break you, Jacob. I want to persuade you. Almighty Father, answer you. The hatred you feel right now is the same hatred we feel. I don't hate you. It's time you were going. Every martyr you worship came to us before their last breath. You will be no different. Did you think I'd let you exercise me? No. Police, right? If you want to call the police after you've witnessed this, feel free. I don't want to witness anything. Just say the lines. Lord, hear my prayer. 
And let my cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. Let us in, Liam. Remember how you felt when we were in you. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Are you happier Lord, since this priest entered your life, or are you more afraid? He hasn't saved you. He'll be watching from up there while you burn in hell with the rest of us. He doesn't care about you. All he cares about is getting your daughter. This creature of yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I cast you out. As you speak, there In the are name others preparing to take Lord my place. Jesus Soon Christ. one will come, you won't be able to cast Be God. We grow in and stay and far from this creature of God, God for weak. it is he is who commands you. you. He who flung you headlong from the heights of heaven into the depths of hell. You want me to scream and spit and blaspheme? I chose this mission. I came into the world to testify to the truth. My faith is stronger than yours. I do this out of knowledge, you do it out of fear. I have seen God and I have seen Satan and I know who is stronger. I've converted thousands of Jews and Christians and Muslims. Lord, and hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Satan, you look up in pity at this your servant Jacob. The land raised in envy, born for of our race. By the sign of your name, let your servant be protected in mind and body. Keep watch over the inmost recesses of his heart. Rule over his emotions. Stop it, he's choking. Strengthen his will. Stop it, you're going to let him breathe. Don't oh, interfere! Save me! Soul, the temptations of the mighty adversary, graciously grant the Lord, as we call on your holy name, that the evil spirit who hitherto terrorized over us may himself retreat in terror and defeat, so that this servant of yours may sincerely and steadfastly render you the service which is your due through Christ our Lord. serpent by the judge of the living and the dead what's in the box father splinter of the tree we nailed your god to the word made flesh commands you the virgin's son commands you jesus of nazareth commands you May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, I won't leave without the Son, you, Jacob. and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. I will exercise you without prayers or chants. Are you ready to be filled with our grace? Be gone then, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, give place to the Holy Spirit by this sign of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. When I'm gone, do one thing for me. Ask your Monsignor about the war.
let you go tonight. I'll take care of him. What are you looking for? The tattoo. From your time in Auschwitz. Are you calling me a Jew, father? I am uncut. Satan restored your flesh. You must be thinking of Wimmel. Wimmel turned to God in his suffering. You turned to Satan. Then how could I cast out demons? There are two authorities over demons. One is Christ. The yeah, other is Satan. Why would Satan conspire with the chief exorcist? It's an old Gestapo trick, isn't it? You shoot one of your own to prove that you're not one of them. Why? You removed my suffering. You think you suffered more than all those millions who managed to hold on to their faith? Like lamb to the slaughter. How oh, Christian of you. The only good Jew is a dead Jew. I was in Rome one day around in Nazapi in 1943. Your Pope watched from his Vatican window. He said nothing. He did nothing. He did what he could. Thousands were hidden. I converted to your faith. It did not save me. So you convert to Satan. The Jewish God is the same as the Christian God. I am a man. I worship no one. Except yourself. Any man who saw the Holocaust, any man who can read an account or look at that photograph and then worship God, that man is an abomination. Get Judas to all mankind. I don't know whether I could hold on to my faith in those conditions. But why turn to Satan? It's not enough to turn our back on God. You can't fight God, so you murder priests and nuns. Collaborators. And how do you justify Donna, a ten-year-old girl? If you could go back and kill Adolf Hitler as a child, wouldn't you do it? <sighs> you are the same as me, Jacob. You have the same anger against God. God loves you. He loves me so much, he's going to allow me to carry on my good work as he has these past 60 years.
Monsignor Vincenzo says you put the incriminating items in his case. Why would I do that? We found the Monsignor's abattoir with the rest of Vimmel's remains, along with the phenol he injected himself with. Any idea why? I know you Catholics love a good mystery. Nothing to do with possession, though. Well, you win some, you lose some. Excuse me. Sister Ruth, I'm sorry for your troubles, Father. I've been praying for you. And what can I do for you? You don't need to pay any attention to me at all. I'm just here to get the office back on track and to make your life easier. You won't even know I'm here. How does that work? It's Cardinal Bukovac you need to complain to. Tell Cardinal Bukovac if he wants to clip my wings, you'll need to come and do it in person. You can tell him yourself. You're meeting in Rome on the 19th. I've organised a memorial service for Sister Anne and Vimmel. Would you like to choose the music? There's no way she's keeping that. You better tell her. You shouldn't burn a Bible. It's wrong. I'll keep it safe. If you still want it when you're 18, you call me. You don't give up with it. Do what your father says. Excuse me? And your mother. Honor your father and your mother. Good year for you. Mother Teresa has her first heart attack in Rome. Why would I celebrate this? Because you denied her miracle and drove him from the priesthood. Your friend's deaths must have been a terrible blow, especially at the hands of your former mentor. Still, we have been granted some fruits amid the scandal. Exorcism is now a discredited ministry. Gradually, the practice will die out and join other historical embarrassments like the Inquisition, Crusades. There have been corrupt popes. That didn't result in the abolition of the papacy. I hope you're not under the illusion that staying in England grants you freer reign to indulge your fetish for exorcism. Do you believe in hell? With all my heart. Buon appetito. We've got a serious case of religious hysteria among some of the most violent prisoners in the UK. I'm not sure that an exorcism is what you need. What I need is for you to get that bitch out of me. Apparitions of Our Lady have been appearing to give messages. This is the satanic equivalent. Saints behaving like demons, possessing rapists. What make you mind it, Father? Is he possessed by saints or demons? Corey, hey! please save your soul. And the next from Apparitions is next Thursday night, again at nine o'clock. Tonight, it's comedy next with Jack D and Lead Balloon.